Welcome back, everybody, to a knife review at Outdoor World with KC and To Be Determined. Well, To Be Determined is just me because kids are at school, wife is at work, and this is a lovely day off in Florida. Unfortunately, it's 95% humidity, so I am inside enjoying the air conditioning. So, we have the Rosecrafts... Rose, wow, should have more coffee, apparently. Rosecraft Blades little chunk I like I like the the wrist flip on there it's got a flipper it has ah, user error there we go thumb studs ambidextrous designed by Hawkins Rose I'll leave that out there be oh wow so I'm telling you this knife is small not the smallest I've ever handled but the thing is, it's like they've done something magic with the handle. And it is just, for big hands, I wear large gloves. I mean, it just feels so good in the hand. So it is a three inch D2 Warren Cliff blade, stone wash finish, manual flipper, ceramic ball bearings. Let's see, liner lock. As you can see right in there, there's no milling. So, I don't know. I mean, I carry large pocket knives in tactical pants that can handle them, and it it doesn't even feel like there's anything there for me. Uh, this one has red G10 handles. I think there's two other versions. Uh, black liners, black pivot collar, uh, hidden lanyard slot. I am not big on lanyards unless I've got a really cool bead to go on them. And let's see pocket clip tip up four inch close seven inch overall and what else can I say I mean I've been carrying this it's D2 so Florida in its awesome humidity I don't know if I can get this in focus ow as I stab myself so I've already got some pitting on there which that's fine. That happens. D2, Florida. Um, I, I like LC200N because it's basically rust proof and whatever else. So this is what I use to clean them up. It's just, it's so small you can't even, you can't see it. I mean, it's just, just right in there. And I, I hate it. I, I guess I'm a, a little OCD when it comes to that. So, let's see, this should just take it off. Now this would be on the inside, so I mean, I wear it, I sweat, I don't know, I've been, I've been carrying this for about a week. And um, if it's sterling silver, I can turn it black. So it might just be my chemistry in Florida weather. Um, let's see, yep. And that's that's it. There's nothing on this side except some gunk. Let me talk too about the jimping on this. I hate when jimping's done done some wrong. Jeez, I can talk. That's I'm a photographer. Um, I hate when jimping is done wrong, but this is just you can hear that just the right it's rounded you feel it's there you get a nice purchase but it's not digging into your hand and then after I do the flits I bring in a little mineral oil wipe it all down and it's back to good again I mean if you take care of your stuff It'll last. I don't care if it's, you know, $100 plus, sub 50, whatever. I mean, just take care of it. Maintain your stuff. It's all good. So there you have it, folks. Another blade from, let me get this right, Rosecraft Blades, the little chonk. And it is, it is little but mighty. I mean, just, when you get it in hand, I mean... It just it just feels 
fabulous. It got, you know, it was uh, Ben's tip there that he likes doing that. So there you go. Well, that won't work. That'd be cool. It's a fidget spinner. Hope you all have a great day.